The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Morning Markets Kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. We're going to say good morning, Tommy. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Everybody. All right, we're kickstarting Friday action, folks. I'm jumping around a bit. We had a few technical difficulties this morning. This if you're in, the, you this that's right. This one. Whoops! There goes my earphone. That's all right. We'll fix it. Uh, a few technical difficulties. If you are in the Tigers Den this morning, um, stay in the Tigers Den. Den. A few problems with Discord going on, but uh, hopefully they'll get that resolved. I know that was an issue for a few people, amongst myself as well, on one of my computers I had here. Fortunately. I was still logged in on one of them. You're doing I'm this jumping one. around. You're doing this All right, one. I got to get in my camera that. shot, Tommy. Tommy's got his mouse. I got my mouse. We're squeezing in here. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to work, Tommy. I think so. I have a on that one. Yeah, you, you're wireless. That's what that is. He's got a wireless mouse this morning. Appreciate you all bearing with us this morning, folks. I have Tommy O'Brien the fourth. He is with us. I tell you, this man is excited to do the show every morning. Never seen him so excited. He gets up in the morning, uh, and he always loves to be hanging out in his pajamas, but you like getting dressed for work, don't you? You like getting dressed for work? I'm going to get dressed for work. You like getting dressed for work, don't you? They're watching us. They're, they're watching us. They're watching us right there, they're Tommy. They're watching us right there in the window. In the window, that's the camera. That's the camera that they're watching us in, that's right. Yeah, how's that, huh? We're going to slide you a little bit this way. Yeah, we're going to slide you a little bit this way for the camera. All right, Daddy's going to slide in with you right there. And I think we're going to be good. How about this? Is that good? What do you think? You got your own laptop today, don't you? Okay, let's kick it off, folks. We got the S&Ps up by 27, Tommy. We have the... 27. We got Dow positive by 198. Nasdaq up mine. by 137. I Tommy, you, you got yours. I got mine. What do you think? Are yields the story of the morning potentially? I... We are sitting at a 10 year of 4.536. We'll call it 4.54. So just about 4.5 percent. We're going to talk a little bit about yields. Oh. You doing some paint? Oh, what just happened? Look at that. You doing some paint? What just happened? What just happened? That's okay. We're just doing some paint. I appreciate everybody bearing with me here as we're jumping around. But I encourage you, if you have the ability, folks, to bring your kids to work whenever you can. Because it's amazing. Is it amazing, Tommy? It's amazing. We're, we're opening the camera. We're, we're opening the camera. We're opening everything, aren't oh, we? Camera. So, this is going to be, we're going to tie everything in. Tommy, did you get a new camera yesterday? I gave you this is, one. Is it a Polaroid? No, this one. Yeah, so I'll tell you a quick story, folks. Last night, uh, Tommy and I, we take a trip to Target to do a little bit of shopping. And tar Tommy... I did it! You did it. We turned it on. Tommy enjoys Target as well. And I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up whatever this... Uh, because this is a story about Target right now, about consumers, about retail, Okay. So I, I, so, yeah. I like, Tell him. Look, the camera. The camera. All it's right. The right camera. So this is the that camera is that right we got camera. last night. Check Wait, this you out. Got a red camera? Yes, we got a blue camera. Look, look, look a red camera. A look, red camera. Look, yes. Look, a yellow camera. And a yellow camera too, but we got the blue camera. This one, okay. Now I'm, I'm going to tell you a quick story about. The big one, that one, Ooh, about the the, one. the the mess that Target is in getting some of their inventory out of the way, okay? The, look, the red one. This camera was... Look, the red one. Yes. Look, the red one. I see it, buddy. Now, in blue, I don't even think it's available. No, up here, the red one. The red one. The red one's a different one, Tommy. That's only 720p. This camera is a... 
4K camera that is waterproof with 18 megapixels. It's recharging. It also you got it, huh? It comes with a charger, um, a mounting accessories for your whatever you want, your bike. Comes with all this, okay? This camera was priced originally at $59.99. It was $18 at Target last night, folks. $18. It was it was cheaper than the fake cameras. We got everybody. I know. It was cheaper than the regular cameras, Tommy. Okay, we're, we're trying to talk to everybody. We got, yeah, you have a mouse and I have a mouse. So $17.99, this camera is. It is a 4K streaming camera. It has two different cameras, one on the front. It also has a selfie camera on the back that you can stare at it. It has mounting brackets that are included in it. Okay, the one kicker is it did not come with a micro SD card, so I had to buy one of those, so we can't take a picture and save it just yet. Um, but you talk about some deals, man. I couldn't believe it. I just happened to say what happened was is his brother Landon um, has a camera that's kind of one of those play cameras, right, that we're all familiar with, kids. And Tommy wanted to use that. Landon's using it. It's his camera. So I said to Tommy, you know what, we'll take a look. Maybe we'll get you a camera. Just happened to peruse past the section in Target form last night, and they had these in the little glass container that you have to ask somebody to open the key for, Okay. We, I'm looking at it. I'm saying, is that the camera that's seventeen ninety nine? That camera. Is that the camera seventeen ninety nine? Is that the camera, Tommy? I asked the guy to open it. I said, yeah, I'd like that one. Um, as long as it's seventeen ninety nine, that's where, right when I look at it. I said, do I have to pay for it now, or can I pay for it when I pay for all my groceries? The guy says, you have to pay for it now. He opens it up. He checks the price. He realizes it's only seventeen ninety nine. He says, you can pay for it when you get to the register. Um, Meaning he couldn't believe that something in the glass case was actually so cheap. Usually well, they put the expensive so stuff in the glass case. So what happened was I grabbed one of them, I left, and I said to myself, I cannot believe, and I left, I said, I, said, I cannot believe I just got this camera for $18. I can't believe. I know, and then I went back and I got the second camera because his brother is going to get an upgrade as well. Oh, no, what'd you do? No, he's pulling my mic off. You can't pull my mic off. That's how they hear you. That's how they hear you. Yeah, we gotta leave it right there. Say hello, everybody. No, leave it right there. Say hello. No, we, no hello. time. Hello. You like being on the office? I know, huh? Huh. We'll show you. There you are right there, mister. There you are. Just like Grandpa's office. Just like Grandpa's office. That's what he says. That's right. Just like Grandpa's office. Just like Grandpa. I mean, so check it out, folks. Okay, you got all these companies that are getting rid of their inventory, right? Uh, Nike. We're gonna yeah, talk about Nike. Money? You want some money? Is that what you say? Yes. You want some money? Thank you. Is that for your camera? Here's your camera. That's the money. They understand. They understand commerce, folks. It happens. All right. Teach your kids at a young age. They understand way more than Jeez. you think they understand. Look at them. You taking Jeez. pictures of everybody? Good job. Good job. Watch your eyes. Be gentle. There you go. Um, I talk to him like a little human being, a little man, because that's what he is now. He understands everything. We go to the register. Can I pay for this, please? Is that what we say? Can I pay for my camera, please? You tell him. Can I pay for my camera, please? That's what he says. You should see the people at the register, folks, when he walks up and says, can I pay for my camera, please? <laughs> So we got ourselves a camera last night, folks. Uh, 18 bucks, man. This thing isn't even available. It was at 40 bucks. It's at 55. The one over here in red is not the same. That's the one up here for 720p, I think. Uh, nonetheless, 18 bucks. You're talking about a 1080p camera, 4K, 18 mix of megapixel action camera, waterproof, the whole deal. So keep your eye out for if some good deals, for man. Potential uh, trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everybody. We have the S&P up by 30 right now. NASDAQ up by 138. Dow up by 213. Markets catch a bit across the board. We check into target shares, man. Uh, and we're going to jump to Nike in a moment. But boy, you talk about some max pain, man, right? Daddy, daddy. Tommy, do you see that? Is that target? That's target. That's target. Yeah, they got to work on making money, man. Oh. They got to work on making money. You see this that, chart? I see a chart. That's not a good chart. Is that I'll a good chart? I'll do that one. Do that one? Yeah. He's managing his computer, his camera, and his T-Rex, right? You got a lot going on, Tommy. And the Indominus. And the Indominus, too. And we got our Triceratops, too. Don't forget about him, right? No, the TV. Oh, that's actually a little different than a Triceratops. We got a lot here. We bring in all the toys to keep the man happy for the hour. I think that's really different. Um, I think and I appreciate the kind words in the den. G-Man, you know, I hear you, man, for sure. That's a great sentiment. I appreciate it. G-Bolt, it's, it's an amazing crowd, folks, and I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys out there. And I wouldn't feel so comfortable bringing Tommy on uh, without the support of you Tigers and Tigresses out there. So it's pretty cool, the community we have across the board. I was jumping in the shower 20 minutes before the show. He's sitting here getting ready. Okay, okay. we got to be gentle, though, right? we got to be gentle because we're on the computer. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Target's about a big issue, but uh, capitalize on that as a retail customer, potentially when the deals arise, that you can secure something like that. I'm telling you, man, you know, it's no matter how much money you have, folks, getting a camera like that. I was I was really thinking about buying them one of the kids cameras, right? You're not getting a kid's camera for under twenty dollars these days, let alone getting a literally four K streaming. And listen, it's not, you know, it's got a it's got a few quirks in it, which is probably why nobody was buying it at sixty bucks, whatever it is. But you get the point, man, and they are just trying to get rid of inventory right now in Target. The one thing I will say, we walk through there all the time, is that they need to refresh things a little bit more as well. And that's probably part of the issue that they're dealing with in terms of Target not refreshing everything because they had so much inventory. You're testing all the numbers. I see it. I'm doing zero and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. Good job. You're doing all the numbers. Do you hear that, folks? All the numbers. Yeah. So when Tommy is, Tommy, you're you're almost going to be two and ten months, two and eight months. 
He's almost two eight months. He's almost two and eight months. I'm two and eight months. That's right. You tell him. Two years old, huh? How old two are you? Two years old. Two years old. We're gonna get him his own show, man. We're gonna have. We're gonna get him his own show. We're gonna encourage all the tigers and tigresses out there with grandkids and kids to call into the program with your children. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen, Tommy. Tell him it's gonna happen. Happens. It's gonna happen. We gotta get him his new mic too. I'm ordering a mic because we gotta get him a new mic uh, as well. Interesting. All right, let's jump over to Nike shares. So Nike, speaking of inventory, man, they're gonna catch quite a lift to the tune of about nine dollars. Check out that action, man. Last night they come into their numbers, eighty nine bucks. You're pushing ninety nine dollars this morning for Nike shares. We'll jump over to Nike. Misses for on revenue for the first time in two years, That's but so guess what? Time. They missed on revenue. But they're pushing out some of their numbers, man. Sales falling 2% in North America, Nike's largest market, but rose in every other region it operates in. Earnings, they beat 94 versus 75 cents. Revenue, a slight miss there. Net income, $1.45 billion. And, oh, gentle on the, gentle on the computer, Tommy. So the margins fell about 0.1 percentage points to 44.2 percent. Quite a margin number selling what? sneakers, right? It was higher than the 43.7 percent the market was looking for. Sales in China grew by 5 percent. That was a big number, 1.7. The market was looking for 1.8, though. Okay, hold on. I was reading the inventories earlier this morning. Maybe it was on a different. Article. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, what's it doing, Tommy? What's it doing? Here we go. Inventories fell 10% to 8.7 billion. Yeah, they're showing it right there. That's what they're looking at. Inventories fell 10% to $8.7 billion. The drop was driven, driven by a D. Wait, we got to sit like a big boy, please. Sit like a big boy, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, the drop was driven by a decrease in units, but offset by product mix and higher manufacturing and production costs. On a whole, we're very comfortable with the level of inventory in the marketplace in relation to the retail sales that we're seeing as we begin I increasing see levels of wholesale sell. I see your light. I see your light. The light? Which light? No, these lights. Oh, you like all the lights in there? I know. Uh, so inventory is a big one. China, a big one out there as well. They miss slightly, but earnings is a beat. And inventories. Inventories are a big one across the board right now, as you see it. And uh, it's remarkable that I was seeing it last night. I said, you know what? Target's just done with some of these items, man. they got to get rid of them. They're fighting the bullet. I mean, imagine corporate looking at their chart, right, saying, hey, we got to write this shit. You got cameras in there that no one's buying for 60 bucks. Get rid of them for no matter what you need to get rid of them for. Okay. All right. What else are we going to talk about? We got a couple big picture articles I want to mention here. So first, you have BlackRock CEO Larry Fink saying he sees the 10-year yield heading above 5%. Yields in focus, folks. Keep your eye on yields. Uh, he's looking at 70s hyperinflation, unlikely. Geopolitical shift is keeping inflation sticky is what he says here. My opinion is we're going to have the 10-year rate at least at 5%. We were just at 465, man. OK, not a mammoth prediction when you have this market moving in the speed that it's moving at. Well, we, the you see the airplanes? I see the airplane stuff. Yeah, that's our channel. Can you show airplane? Uh, we can't see the airplane. He's looking at Swiss.com. He somehow found a URL probably saved in my history for Swiss Airlines. I've been trying to track him down. Here's the one thing I will say, man. You're a lawyer out there. The, the, they are ripe for a class action lawsuit, okay, to the degree of how difficult they make it to get anything from that company when they break your goods, lose your goods, um, push you back on a flight, okay? I had quite an adventure on the flight to Europe. It was amazing. Tommy, I'm telling them about our flight. He's excited, folks. I appreciate you staying with us this morning. Uh, they lost, first of all, they lost my stroller tommy stroller on the way there if you don't know how it usually works welcome back to the show folks they welcome lost his stroller show, and it's supposed to be right off of the plane right when you land you don't go pick up the stroller you drop the stroller as you get on the plane you get off somehow it didn't make it on the flight okay so we get off and land in Majorca after a 20-hour journey no stroller poor tommy right so i'm 
holding him. We get a cart eventually for our bags. He can kind of stand, stand up there. So Daddy. first they lose the stroller. Then, Daddy. Daddy. I'm telling them about your stroller. And then they drop it off three days later and it's broken. Okay, they broke open oh, no, no, off a piece no, of it. No. Then on the way back, we got delayed. Want you, talk? you want to talk? What do you want to tell them? Where's the market going, Tommy? Where's the market going? We're going to look at Hasbro, and we're going to look at Mattel when we get back. No, we won't hold it. No, you can't hold it, because that yeah. doesn't sound good. You can't hold it. Yeah, you just got to talk into it. Okay, talk they can, into it. They can hear you. Yeah. See? Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Say, I'm doing the show. This is Tommy O'Brien at TFNN. TFNN. Yeah. Say, we're going to go to commercial. Oh, we'll going to commercial. And we're going to be right back for the open. Wait for that open. Right back for the open. So we got green across the board. We got green across the board. And we're going to come back for the opening bell. Okay, try it now. We're going to come back for the opening bell. We'll be right back, folks. Try it now. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Can you sit up, please, like a big foot? Folks, welcome back. Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien. You say welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. He heard the opening bell sound that plays on the Thinkorswim platform. What did it sound like? Did it sound like a train? No, it sounds like a bell. Like a bell, huh? Yeah, it's the opening bell, Tommy. Stocks are open. Did you hear that? That's the opening bell. Do you hear? Do you hear that, people? It's the. It's the. Opening bell. 
bill. Yeah. The opening bill. The op- yeah. Like doping bill, people. <laughs> you love how he talks. He's talking to you, people. He's talking to you out there. He knows you're out there. He comes in the office, and I tell him when people are watching, when they're not. I have a web camera that lights up blue. When it's blue, they're watching, Tom. You see it's blue, they're watching. Say hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Uh, okay. Jumping back to some big picture looks here. All right. We got Tommy. I got this one. You got your mouse. Oh, that's a mouse. He's getting good with a mouse. He can he can call it with his mouse. Now, we're going to jump around. So first we talked about Fink talking about rates could go as high as 5%. We're target. Okay. We're target. That's a target ad, isn't that? I know. You're so smart. Yeah. Now, what we jump to here is we got a couple articles that jump around. This one was interesting Look yesterday. There's dinosaurs up there. There are dinosaurs up there, aren't they? Uh, Ray Dalio was talking about this story yesterday, saying the U.S. is closely daddy, daddy, um, daddy, approaching daddy. a potential debt crisis. Okay. Da, now, the thing da, to keep in your mind here, please sit up like a big boy. Da, 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 da. Tommy, Tommy, you have to behave, okay? We got people watching for the show. You want to show them your big dinosaur? This is a good one here. Show them that one. Oh, show them that one. Whoa. Whoa. I'm eating you, people. I'm eating you, people. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, and so the key is here, right? Is it, you know, it, it, it frustrates me when you hear the phrases like, you know, America is a, uh, past its prime, right? We'll never get out of this. All of this is achievable, folks. We can do anything, okay? Government is of the people, okay? So make sure you remember this because we need to protect the future because we have children that are gonna be around for a long time, even if we aren't, okay? So you can't give up, there's no other alternative. Can't give up, you gotta keep going forward. Remember that one, okay? The debt's crazy. Doesn't mean we can't get through it somehow, okay? We, we've tackled bigger things. We have, um, the level of wealth in this country is astounding on many levels, okay? So we'll be okay, but we do have to make some changes, okay? Easier said than done, I know it, but what's the alternative? Giving up? That's not an alternative, okay? So stay optimistic. Don't let, you know, the negativity drive you down. Um, and Dalio's out here talking about, and they are, debt levels, man. Surpassed $33 trillion for the first time this month. We have a potential Please, government Daddy, shutdown Daddy. looming. Please, got you. Did you got me? Oh, we have a potential government shutdown looming over the weekend, okay? We've got you watch. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Don't grab that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and it's been an explosion on both sides, folks, okay? This is not a Democrat and a Republican deal. Everybody just disagree- disagrees on why. Excuse me. Excuse me. We can't be screaming so they can hear us, okay? But the part that I want to talk about, just to bring it to everyone's levels here, is that and it's amazing that, you know, you got articles everywhere, obviously. Me, this one out from Bloomberg last me. night. You got me? Oh, he's got me. And some of the statistics are pretty startling, okay? And this is with a debt level. A debt level. You eat, that's a koala, remember? Here, sit up like a big boy so you don't fall. Please. We're still at pretty reasonable interest rates, okay? The argument has always been if interest rates rise from the level they've been at, then the debt will really be a problem. Well, we're seeing that play out to a certain degree right now, okay? The U.S. government's at $33 trillion, okay? And it pays more on interest than it does on its defense. Now, the defense budget, you could argue, is out of whack in two seconds, okay? We spent, in this current fiscal year through August, $807 billion on interest in the debt, on its debt, and we've spent $695 billion on defense. So there are massive problems, folks, but government is the art of compromise, and nobody wants to compromise on either side of the aisle, okay? Remember that. When everybody digs in their horns, things become partisan, okay? It's going to take all of the above to get out of this, and it is quite a number, and we're going to start approaching where we have shutdowns, mini shutdowns. How long do the shutdowns last? Remember, folks, that debt is already incurred. We need to make changes to the level of debt, not to whether we're gonna pay the debt we already have, okay? Now, I know that this is a tool that's used by the party that's not in power to access some 
and everything's a negotiation, so we all get it, okay? But in a negotiation, you have leverage. Oh, we'll get it. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get it for you, okay? You want your camera first? My camera. Yeah, you going to turn it on? Uh, so keep that in mind. The numbers are startling, to say the least. Um, okay, we're going to have to... Tommy, my man. Hey, we got a little koala. Of all things, I'll tell you. We got this little koala on a beach in Mallorca. And a, a nice gentleman was selling these. And Tommy was just being so good on the beach that he came over and gave him a little koala, gave it to him. Yeah, couldn't help it. I know, the cute little man. Um, so we're going to see how this plays out, folks. Government shutdown looks like it's happening. Who knows what's happening in the House? I mean, what you're seeing is you're seeing a splintering of the parties themselves making it difficult to compromise, right? It used to be the two parties having to compromise. Now you can't even get compromises within each party, all right? Republicans are in focus right now. This stuff happens, and Democrats as well. Compromise, folks, okay? Now, there's a couple things that can help fix that. Number one, term limits. Number two, the gerrymandering that takes place for House districts is one of the worst as well, okay? It would be great if somehow the House districts took a more scientific approach to drawing those districts to eliminate gerrymandering. Is he eating a koala? No, he ate the mouse. I think that's a koala, remember? That's a koala. Yeah, he, he ate the koala. He ate the koala, Tommy. My goodness. Uh, if you have children or grandchildren, folks, it puts things in perspective, okay? Because we don't have to get four years down the road. We don't have to get through this weekend. We need to get through the next hundred years, man, okay? Because Tommy's hopefully going to have children. Maybe he'll have, Ed he'll have Edmund Thomas O'Brien the fifth. And eventually, okay, we got to make sure that we have, number one, a democracy survives, and number two, a democracy that survives that isn't bankrupt, okay? And these are things we can do through compromise. I'm not out here saying that, you know, takers got to pay their taxes. I'm not out here saying the rich got to pay for it all to make sure we take – no, it's compromise, okay? And I'm not sure what that entails, but it's compromise. Everybody can't get what they want. It's going to take spending less it's going to probably take tax and more. That's it. Okay? And the wealthy in this country can afford to get taxed more, and we can afford to save some money across the board on different areas as well for our spend. Where, when, how, I don't know. But that's what we're going to get done. Because these are numbers that are pretty lofty, and I'm talking about Tommy's my age. You're 40 years into the future. All right, folks, market's positive. We're going to take a look at some toy makers when we get back. Mattel and Hasbro. Stay tuned. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com.
A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, welcome back, folks. Touching on some of the economic news, driving some of the action this morning. We got poor C core PCE rising 0.1% month over month in August. They were looking for 0.2%. You got some snacks. Are you excited? Are you excited? This guy loves this, folks. So thanks so much for tuning in and making this possible. You make his day. You make my day. It is an absolute privilege to be on here uh, doing this program with my son as we jump around here. It's an adventure. Right, now you're snacking. You're doing your show. Life is beautiful, folks. Enjoy every day. Um, you know, I find myself with a child in particular trying to uh, be a little bit more big picture about everything, right? Life is precious. You never know what you have. Live in today. Don't worry about tomorrow, okay? Um, as my dad says, the line, yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? What's happening right now? Because that's all that matters, man. Time is actually only in the current Okay, tomorrow may not even exist. That's real statement, man. Okay, so live in today. Don't worry about the anxiety of tomorrow. Beat that anxiety of tomorrow. So much of our anxiety is based on Daddy, the tomorrow. Some more, some more, some more. I ate all of it. Would you like another one? I like another one. You would like another one? These it's are good. Got three here. Yeah, these are apple got wheels. Apple. And they got iron in there for you. Don't those delicious, Tommy? For the people at Gerber, you can send us some lovely gift cards for your wheels so we can purchase them for Tommy for the free mentions. Uh, so PCE, right? 0.1% month over month in August, 3.9% for the year. Economists were looking for an increase of 0.2% on the month and 3.9% for the year. What I don't understand is they already knew the, the other 11 months. If you knew the other 11 months and you were looking for 0.2% and that would equal 3.9, how did you know the other 11 months and you get 0.1% and it still comes in at 3.9? Nonetheless, both readings were below, were lower than July. When I you don't want to know. No, we can put it down and save it. We'll put it right there, okay? Oh. No, this yeah. is ice or TV. I had a nice lava lamp in college. Heck yeah, man. Some black lights, right? What'd you do? You take that detergent. Take the detergent right all over it's the walls with it so it shines. It's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Maybe we'll get you a lava lamp for college, Tommy. Okay, we got a few years to get that ready. Uh, okay, what else we got, Doc? Let's talk a little bit of gold in the dollar index, man. Uh, How do you trade to trade there? Okay, you're going to trade too? Let's trade. So gold catches a slight bid this morning after, boy, you talk about a pullback, man. Dives yesterday to 1874. We're sitting right now at 1889. I do not have a Costco membership, but if you have a Costco membership, folks, you might be able to go buy some gold from Costco. Check it out, man. Costco is selling gold bars. Now, this story was out a couple days ago, okay? But didn't get to cover it, and I'm not sure if they're still available, but there it is, you right there. That? A one-ounce gold bar. What does it mean when when, um, when 
when Costco was selling gold bars. We'll have to get my dad's take on that. Um, does that mean that that's a... Oh, look at you. Does that mean that they've now pushed it out to everybody? I don't know. We'll see. But they're selling uh, straight up gold at Costco. You got to love Costco, man. Uh, we don't have Costco out here near Lakeland, Florida. We have Sam's. So I'll go to Sam's is what we belong to to get our deals at, at Sam's. Oh, you got your koala? What you got there? Huh? All right. Should we jump around? What else are we going to jump around to? The story out here. Sad for her and her family, folks, when, you know, you lose somebody. She's not just a politician. Diane Feinstein passed away at the age of 90. You know, my thoughts go out to her family, her loved ones, okay? Not an easy day when you lose somebody like that. And your family, your friend, uh, a human being beyond a politician. It is unfortunate that she served past the point that she was really cognizant of what was going on. And that's a conversation that should be happening in politics as it persists. Even with the two gentlemen running for president, okay? Yes. We're almost there. You want to sit me? Okay. You're doing so good, I know, huh? You're doing so good. Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the show, folks. What do we got, Tommy? Let's look at the stocks. We told them we're going to talk about Mattel. We're going to talk about Hasbro. Let's take a look at the two giants out there. Here is Mattel. Let's take a look, Tommy, on a five-year weekly. Mattel shares. This $22, $23 area has been a little bit. No, hold on. A little bit area of resistance on this chart. No, no, no. You got your mouse. I got mine. We got to show them. Okay, now. You got your mouse. You want to put it over here? Here you go. Okay. I love how I squeeze him in a chair and nah, he wants to sit up here, right? You got to love it. Um, so jumping over, this is Mattel we're looking at here, okay? Now, jumping down the line. Come on. I had it up here. So they got Hot Wheels, okay? They got He-Man. They have Minecraft, okay? Yeah, Minecraft is what they got. They got Barbie as well okay they got a bunch in here in terms of mattel and what we're talking about you jump over to hasbro all right now two of these and you gotta love wikipedia man okay what would we do without wikipedia right hasbro founded in 1923 you got that grandpa okay okay hold on we're almost done with the show buddy you're doing so good i know Grandpa. Grandpa. Uh, among its products for Hasbro, Transformers, G.I. Joe, Power Rangers, okay? Micronauts, if you're not familiar, you don't have kids. Play-Doh, Twister, My Little Pony, Peppa the Pig, PJ Masks, okay? Um, I saw PJ Masks. Yeah, PJ Masks, huh? Now you jump to Mattel to jump through some of theirs. We'll go to the top here. The Lego Group, Barbie, and, and Hot Thomas Wheels. Thomas and Friends. Hey, you look for, you look about Thomas and Friends? Is this Thomas and Friends? Where are you seeing Thomas? I don't see Thomas. Thomas up here. I see Thomas up here. You see Thomas up there? I see Thomas up there. Is that here. Thomas? That's Thomas. I don't know. Are you sure? Let's see. Down here. All right, we're going to take a look at the two charts, though. So there's Mattel. I was looking at this this morning. You go back to a monthly tough chart, man, right? <laughs> yeah, tough chart to say the least. You were up to 48 bucks back in 2013, and uh, I was looking at this thing, and you're probably up to an area there. Potentially, you're facing a little bit of resistance. That area, the 618 of about 2274, and you can see that that's an area that this thing kind of struggled at, maybe $24 on the high of 2022 for Mattel. You jump over to Hasbro. Okay. Now Hasbro, man, let's go big picture for this thing. Watch out for these toy makers, man, right? They just don't make the type of cash. Maybe this competition is so tough amongst toys, but well, you catch the hot toy at the right moment. Uh, you're sitting basically right where you were in 2015 prices for Hasbro. And this thing, I mean, there's, there's, there's not a lot of strength there, man. You got, I'm doing it, Daddy. You're I'm doing it, Tommy. You got volume at the at the bottom here. Which is, what is that, Tommy? That's going back to, this is a monthly, March of this year. You make a low on almost 50 million shares for Hasbro. Yeah, probably going to go back down and here. test that. I want to up here. I yeah. want to up here. No, this is Daddy's one. Okay, we're going to do one more break, Tommy. This market, it's melting a little bit. 
Tell him, it's melting. It's melting. We're down to 4360. Markets in positive territory on some good CPI numbers. Tell him we're going to be back. One more segment. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in a stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. You like that green, Tommy? Here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on. Let's find the green. There's the green. Where is it? There it is. <clears throat> so, checking in on yields right now, folks. We have the 10 year just above 4.5%. I like I can't let some more green, please. Yeah, we're going to finish the show, though. I'm talking to them about CDs, okay? I've been talking about the CDs, Whoa, folks. A five year ladder is still pushing 5.11% this morning. Five year ladder. We're going to talk about the five year ladder every single day that I do this program, man. We should probably kick it off with the five year ladder. 5.11% is the five year ladder right now. Uh, great conversation in the den yesterday talking about if you're retired, man, okay, you're getting 5% on your capital and you're not touching the capital that you have. Daddy, up here. Okay, you should be able to live off 5% of your capital in most instances, depending on where you are in retirement, okay? But if you have a million dollars save retirement, I know a lot of people don't, like okay? Do but if you have a million dollars save, which a lot of people do, do that, you're pulling 50 grand a year not touching your capital right now. That is a lofty proposition. I know there's a lot of people 
Hey, are you listening? Are you listening? We're talking to people about yields. Yeah, it's very important. These are very important yields for people, Tommy. Yeah, you know that? What's that dinosaur doing? What's he doing? Is he getting it? Is he getting it? Yeah. Uh, I appreciate you joining us this morning, pro, uh, folks. It's been an adventure. I think I'll probably be back on my own on Monday. But we will see, because Tommy's had quite an adventure this week, and he is a fan of being on the air, and I think we're going to have to get his, his own time slot. Uh, are we going to have to get to your own show? Well, how many do you get on my show? I think you need a show, Tommy. I think you need that one. So, folks, stay tuned. we got live programming coming up. we got our man Basil Chapman coming up right now with the Tiger Technicians Hour. we got our man Steve Rhodes coming up with the Trader's Edge at 11. Hold on one second. We have Fast Market at 12. We got our man Larry Pizzavento at 1. And starting Monday, folks, we do have a new program. Hold on. Hold on, Tommy. We're almost done. We have a new program to start Monday. My dad is going to be talking to the... Hey, excuse me. Okay. We made it the hour. He wants the keyboard. Uh, he's going to be interviewing the new host coming up this afternoon, a man by the name of Peter Bruno. I look forward to that on Monday. Stay tuned, folks. Live programming coming up. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks so much.